Hello friends. So we are back with the, the tram. The, the, the is a kind of one night play today. Uh, the tram is there then uh, at the iron master and his daughter. Now what, are his, what is going to happen we will see but before that we have the intercede. Intercede means to plead, to speak on behalf of somebody. Very often when the principal punishes a boy the class teacher intercedes for him, intercedes and speaks on behalf of him or pleads his case positive, in a positive manner to save him from his punishment. Isn't it? Yes. Another main point is here the tram defends himself. The iron master threatens him saying he will report the matter to the sheriff. The iron master's daughter intercedes for the tram the Iron Master gives him. So finally, that's what happens. Let's see. It's most, it, it's, it's not my fault, sir, he said. I, I'm not at fault at all. I, how many times I told you I am not coming? I never pretended to be anything but a poor trader. And I pleaded and begged to be allowed to stay in the forest. You tried many times, with many words, with many promises, but I did not budge, I did not, I did not agree with you, or I did not say yes, but it all happens with your uh, daughter, uh, in whom I thought that I can confide or I can trust, but no harm has been done at, last, at least. Um, but no harm has been done at best. Ah, sorry. But no harm has been done at best. I could put on my rags again and go away. And he says, why, why, why do you want to get angry with me? I have done, I haven't done any harm to you. See, I can just go away. Take your, uh, your suits, I don't want. Your shoes, I don't want. But my hair is, I cannot replace it. My shaving also done, I cannot replace it. All the other things can be replaced. Go, you take and I am going. Well said, well said the Iron Master, hesitating a little. It was not quite honest either. You must admit that. And I should not be surprised if the Sheriff would like to have something to say in the matter. No. Whatever you say, you will say that I am at fault, etc. But even then, the whole thing is there is something rotten. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. As Hamlet says now. Something is, is uh, wrong here. So, I would like to report the matter to the sheriff. The tram took a step forward. And struck the table with his fist. Now, he said, I am going to tell you, Mr. Iron Master, how things are, he said. This whole world is nothing but a rat trap. All the good things that are offered to you are nothing but cheese rinders and bits of pox sent out to drag a poor fellow into the trouble, into trouble. And if the sheriff comes now and locks me up for this, then you, Mr. and Master, must remember that a day may come when you yourself may want to get a big piece of pork. That means you will be trapped, a big piece of pork. To, to where something you will be attracted and that will be that will take you to the prison. Then you will get enough. Then, then you will get caught in the trap. Exactly. If you trap me, <laughs> then somebody else will trap you. That's all. You are trapping me. You are going to trap me. Somebody else will trap you. No doubt. The whole world, his philosophy, the whole world is a rat trap. And all these things are baits. Your power, your animal, your reputation. Now what you are thinking to put me in prison, all those things are nothing but Bates. And if you do this, one day you will also be trapped by a bait. 
may be a bigger piece of cork, mine is a small one. So here is a bigger bait will be there and you will become a victim. The end master began to laugh. <laughs> Reader, that was not so bad, listen. You are drunk. Not so bad, listen. You have defended yourself. That was not so bad, listen, my good fellow. Perhaps we should let the Sharif alone on Christmas Eve. No, let him be alone. Let him be there. We will not call him. But now, get out of here as fast as you can. Get thee gone. The Iron Master said, Okay. I will not call you. I don't want to know. You have said well. Your words, okay. That is, if you cheat somebody, you will be cheated. If you dig a pit for somebody, you yourself will fall in there. That's the meaning of this. Small park, you catch me. A bigger park will catch you. Piece of park, not a living park, but a piece of park. But anyway, you get out of this place. But just as the man was opening the door, the daughter said, I think he ought to stay with us today. I don't want him to go. With that, she went and closed the door. No, no, let me say this, she said, in a very soft voice. What in the world are you doing, said the father. What nonsense are you saying? This tramp, do you know anything about him? What is he going to do here, except? The daughter stood there, quite embarrassed, and hardly knew what to say, what to answer. Because her father has said, get out. And now she says that, don't go. She has closed the door. And father says, what do you know? Do you know experience? I know, I have experience in life. What these people are going to do, I know. So she stood there embarrassed. And then he said, that morning she had felt so happy when she thought how homely Christmassy how homely Christmassy means Christmassy means Christmas is it is a symbol of love Christmas so how homely thought how because in because Christmas you remember Joseph and Mary they went around searching for a shelter but they did not get one. So here this girl is thinking, I am giving shelter to this man, this wretch, this poor fellow, who will not be admitted anywhere, could be chased away by others. So it's actually something, here you have got a replica of the Christmas Eve. Something that happened once upon a time, and Joseph and Mary could not get any place to take rest, they went to a cow shed. But here, I am here, I could, I could give shelter to this man and also food, Christmas Eve food. She was thinking like that. And she got some mental satisfaction. That morning she had felt so happy when she thought how homely Christmas Eve she was going to make things for the poor hungry lunch. It was not for the, her father or anybody else, but for this poor, hungry, hungry wretch. Those, those people who denied shelter to Joseph and May. But here I am giving shelter and food to this. How Christmas it is. The message of Christmas is translated into action. The message of Christmas is materialized here. Not just words. She could not get away from the idea all at once. And that was why she had interceded for the very born. From morning onwards she was keeping this thought as a treasure 
गाड़ी का सर प्रेशर पड़ी सी दैट आई कुड डू समथिंग टू अ पोर रच ऑन द ईव ऑफ क्रिसमस एंड दस आई कैन मेक माय क्रिसमस मीनिंगफुल दिस ईयर थॉट लाइक दैट सो शी कुड इन गेट अवे फ्रॉम दैट थॉट ऑल एट वंस एंड दैट वाज व्हाई शी सर I am thinking of this stranger here, said the young girl. He walks and walks the whole year long, and there is probably not a single place in the whole country where he is welcome and feel at home. Another thing of this, he walks and walks throughout the year. Nobody will admit it. In that case, he is. She thinks that there is an equivalency between Joseph and Mary and this man. What a sad thing! He walks and walks the whole year long. No shelter, nobody to help, nobody to give food. Just think of it. He would be chased away. Chased away. People will. Let loose their dogs to chase him, to run after him. What a sad, sad situation! Always he is afraid of being arrested. So he was. Now you threatened him to bring the sheriff and get him arrested, and says arrested and cross examined. A poor proletariat member. The poor man is harassed by everybody, by authorities, by those people, people around. But one thing you must not forget that he, this man, he stole three ten crore bills from that old man, poor man. That also we should not forget. Okay, let's be cross examine. I should hear. I should have him enjoy a day of peace with us. A day of peace with us. Here, just one in the whole year. She is pleading. She says, "Father, just think of it. What a poor, poor man. What a miserable condition. Wherever he is, he is chased away. He is always under the threat of." Being caught and cross-examined. Today is Christmas Eve. Let us allow him to stay. And finally, the I must give him. I think now this is again this much. This part can be acted as a one-act play, isn't it? A little bit of thing you can take from the previous sections. This can be a a, a center of attraction. Is a one act play, or, or say on the basis of, or you can say in an atmosphere, in a Christmas atmosphere, is it? You can stage it. Okay, that is up to you. So here, I think the uh, section is very clear to you because there are no difficult words. Only thing is that uh, firstly he threatens, but uh, he puts up a defense. The defense is really well done because he. Speaks out very strongly his philosophy, and I must have been a man of common sense and also a most probably an educated man. This food for thought for for him. He might have thought, ah, that there is something in what this man says, isn't it? Yes. So let's see. Uh, questions: How did the tram try to defend himself? The tram said, "It is none of my mistake." I did not pretend that I am a captain. I very often, many times, I refused. But your daughter came. You sent your daughter. She persuaded me. I trusted her. That's why I came. Then the I master said that I will call the sheriff and see that you are uh, you are cross-examined. At that time, he burst out. He is an angry citizen. He steps forward and with his fist. He struck the table with his fist and said, "You remember, if you do this, you will be caught." 
the whole world is a platform. And all the things offered by, offered this, offered by this world, they are baits. And if you attract a tourist, then, then what will happen is that you will also be, you will perish like a rat in a rat trap. So if you do that now with me, somebody else will do that with you after some. That's a defense yourself. That's a good defense, excellent. It's a good question. Do you think that the, the Iron Master can be justified? Do you think that the Iron Master can be justified? What do you think? According to me, he cannot be justified. See, how many times he refused? He said, no, no, no. Then he said, Dear. then he sent his daughter. That's, so he cannot be justified in that way. But when you think of his attitude to his, his, his one-time uh, comrade, regimental comrade, because he mistook him. So he was so, so concerned about it. Not only that he sent his daughter for inviting him, plus he was thinking how to resettle him, how to give him, how to uh, get him an employment which is decent uh, to his, uh, to his uh, level or to his, uh, without his, to his standard. He was thinking like that. So that way he is a good man also. And plus, when he actually understood the situation, he forgave him. He did not. But at the same time he said, you get up. So that's kind of something what you can say, some, some, uh, it's not very firm about it now. Like he should have said, suppose you would be the Iron Master, what would you say? Uh, you, you might say, or I might say, yes, I, it's my mistake, I won't, my mistake, I confess, I agree. Now we, I have, we have brought you, we, uh, we, do, we did it in uh, good faith, I anyhow, you stay here for tonight and tomorrow you can have breakfast and then you can go. <laughs> this is what I would be saying or you would be saying that master is not that good, you can say. Okay. And then you have got the, what makes the iron master, iron master cool down. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what makes the iron master cool down? And Master, because his daughter interceded for him. So, see, look at this, he's a poor man, a wretch. So I was thinking last night all about this. I will be giving, I get some mental satisfaction. I can make this a Christmassy, as Christmassy as possible. Means the spirit of Christmas, that is. I could, I could think of the spirit, put that the spirit of Christmas in the practice by serving this wretch, looking after him, at least for a day. And uh, good food, at least for a day. Rest without fear, at least for a day. And once in a year, let him live peacefully. As otherwise, he will be chased by authorities and he will be cross-examined. He's always living in a, in a in an atmosphere of fear and anxiety. So she pleaded, she interceded. And then the Iron Master cooled down. Cooled down. So where, what do you see that in Iron Master? There is a, uh, what we say, there is a, sometimes he is, he, is, he appears to be very good, then immediately he changes his position. But in a way, that's a good idea now, because he is not adamant. He accepts his situation and he is willing to change. So that way, if you think, he is a good character. He is a good character, not all. See that uh, story takes different turns, you know, that is a thing. Different turns, turn, turns with them. Captain, the tramp becomes a captain, and then he comes home, 
בקיידיץ', נמנחוס, אסטריטרוול, אימן השם, ארקאט, גולד קלוץ, כל שוס, אקסטרה, קיירפור, אנקרנסן דבורט איס פריטר, דה פיפול דה. And then he comes to know that it is not, he has made a mistake, the Iron Master shouts at him. Iron Master says, he threatens him. I will take you to the Sheriff. Anyhow, when he explains everything, he said, get out. But his daughter, very nice lady, gentle, soft, he pleads for him. And finally, the Iron Master agrees that uh, he may be allowed to spend the Christmas Eve there in that manner house. Bye. Have a nice day. Enjoy your life.